So, I got another bag. I mean, I have tons of backpacks and fanny packs and side bags and all this, but each bag has like a little bit of a different purpose as they have different dimensions and, you know, they're better for holding different things. So, let's take a look at the bag. Where did I put it? You can see in the title, it is a Project Rock bag. That, in fact, it is the, uh, the UA Project Rock waste bag. So, I have the backpack, the box backpack, the pro box backpack. I mean, they switch it up a bit. But this is the first time I've ever got a Project Rock waste pack. Let's have a quick look at the item itself. You got a nice little Project Rock and Under Armour collaboration right there. You can see the tag says one size fits most. It only comes in one size. And then the retail was $55 Canadian. So the amount of liters this bag has is 7 liters, I believe. I don't think there's a bigger storage unit. Whole total is 7 liters, like it said. So let's take a quick look at all the details. So it's got these nice little things you can, you know, clip carabiners on, or clip some pens on. This is stuff that I've seen on the Project Rock Pro box backpack on the outside, you know, to add a little more attachments. I don't really get the weight of it on a side bag or fanny pack or whatever because this is so small you don't really want to have a lot of weight pulling it down but hey more design the more the merrier next thing we see is we have a little hit of project rock on the side here let's try to get the lighting better and then you have a small side area here um, this might be good for slipping in cell phones or anything else I believe this area here is waterproof it does say right here that it is an insulated pocket. So, you know, maybe. Um, the little pull ties for the zippers are kind of nice. I like how you can easily hook a finger inside of there. The next thing we had was on the front, you also have another pull tie with a little piece of fabric on this one. And this compartment is a little bigger on the front. It is actually quite wide. You can see I can stick my whole fist in there. It's got another little flap. I mean, usually I find these flaps pointless. Do people really put some on this side and then fill the whole pocket and then zip it up? I don't know. But hey, that's the front pocket. That's even smaller. And then we have the main compartment on the back. If you see, the back is padded. But the main compartment I already have open. I'm just going to close it for you. And then you can see a big main compartment at the top. So, it is quite spacious, and the fact that it opens up this much on the top, it kind of holds a little better than my Patagonia sling bag. I do like how the Patagonia sling bag sits on me, and I can fit my gimbal in it nice and good. However, this, the opening does allow for more accessibility, and I technically could stuff this one a little better. However, if I'm out for a long day, I believe if I have the more weight on my body, having using this as a sling bag might get a little more discomforting. I don't know. I really have to test it out. What do you guys think? So, let's take a last look at the packaging. I don't know what it's trying to say on the packaging. Oh, okay. So, it's really hard to see. But it's trying to say the rock slogan, blood, sweat, respect. It's, it's been stitched through, so it's not really there. You have these really nice clips. So, I mean, if you want to tighten it, throw it around, that. But usually these clips would stay closed for me. Loosening option, and then continues with blood, sweat, respect, saying along that. And the ways you can wear it, I find you can wear it like this. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. Obviously, I might have it upside down. So you probably want to put the buckle side over, and then the Project Rock image will be sitting here. You can see accessibility is pretty decent. I would have to tighten it a little bit if I wanted to sit this way. However, it also can be sitting across your body this way as a fanny pack. One last look at the backing when you hold it apart. This is how it's going to sit on your body, so you guys decide how it would be comfortable for you. You see, it's just flat that way. So you could even have it as a sling bag on your back like that. However you want to wear it, I guess it's up to you. But for the price, 55 and you can probably get a discount on something. Pretty decent little bag compared to the Panagodia sling bag, which is over 100 bucks. This is, this is something to look into. But the final little bit I saw... This does say storm, not storm proof, but storm. 
So yeah, let me get that right there. So if it says storm, that means it's at least water resistant, water repellent in some way. That's probably the insulated pocket, but hey, the whole thing probably will keep yourself a little dry. Anyway, so that's a quick little look again at the Under Armour Project Rock waste bag. What do you guys think of this item? Is there another bag you're looking to get this summer, this spring, or one that you've previously bought? Is there a backpack you're looking into or anything from the Project Rock Under Armour line? Anyways, I've had a good time. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.